This is the IELTS listening test. You will hear a number of different recordings and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four parts. At the end of the test, you will be given 10 minutes to transfer your answers to the answer sheet. Now turn to part one. Part one. That is the end of part one. You now have one minute to check your answers to part one. Part 2 Hello everybody, I'm here to show you around the Arthur Bertram Memorial Hospital, where you'll spend the next six months doing some of your training. As you can see, here on the first floor there's reception. I'm sure you'll get to know Betty and Zach, our amazing receptionists. If you ever get lost, just call those guys. The hospital has nine floors in total, although I doubt you'll be using the top floor. That's where we keep medical supplies. You shouldn't really be going to the stores area. You'll probably start off with a stint in the x-ray department, which can be a bit depressing with all those broken bones and other nasty things they discover there, but you will love Dr. Striebkin. He's a wonderful doctor and a great teacher. The department is on the fourth floor, but Dr. Striebkin's office is the third floor next to the orthopedic ward. It's a bit of a pain having to use the elevator all the time, but it's quite an old hospital. One of the best equipped wards is the children's ward. It's actually very new. It's only in its sixth year, so it's the baby of the hospital. And a lot of the equipment is state of the art. The children's ward is just upstairs from the x-ray department, so it's on the fifth floor. Speaking of just upstairs, just upstairs from reception here is the physiotherapy unit. We're very lucky to have some of the world's leading physiotherapists, and we've just had a new aqua therapy pool put in. No swimming allowed by medical students. I notice some of you are doing your first three weeks in the eye department, so you'll get a great view of the city when you're not busy, that is. It's on floor eight, so you can get some good exercise if you use the stairs. On the sixth floor, you'll find medical records, though it's unusual for you to go there. Hospital porters collect and deliver any paper records, but in reality you'll get most information on the computer database. The IT guys are on the seventh floor, just so you know. Now let's go to the most important part of the hospital, the canteen. That is the end of part two. You now have 30 seconds to check your answers to part two.
Part 3 Hi Bob, I hear you're running the Teaching Skills Summer Course. I might be interested in coming along if that's OK, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it every day. Yes, it was a big success last year. We're doing it again. It's a lot less intensive this time though, so you might be able to come along to most of the sessions. Can you give me the details then? I hear it starts on Tuesday the 2nd. Well, actually the teachers are arriving on that day. Things get underway the day after. The induction session is on for the first Wednesday. Excellent. Can I come along to that? Oh, definitely. It's a good idea, actually, because you get to know everyone before they start to form mini cliques and hang out with the same people for the rest of the course. That's just like our students. Oh, yeah. Maybe we don't change that much after school, after all. Anyway, on Thursday, we have the first set of seminars, which are my favourite sessions. There's nothing scheduled on Fridays, so a lot of people do their own thing, mostly prepare for the next session. Some of them went cycling last year, and two guys went windsurfing. Nice. I'm busy on Fridays. What about the weekends? Well, on the 6th, there's a session called Teaching. We put the teachers in groups, and they have to come up with a great lesson. It sort of takes you back to your teacher training days. You can come along to watch that. You could critique some of the lessons if you like. No problem. What about the next Saturday? Is there teaching then, too? Nope, although that's a pretty good idea for next year. No, on the 13th we've got more seminars. When does everyone leave? People leave on Monday because there's always such a good party on Sunday the 14th. So they sleep it off and then leave the next day. Aren't there some lectures? Yeah, they're on the second Tuesday. I'm giving one on the silent method this year. I'm really getting into that. I'm sure I'm supposed to ask if you speak during that. You're only the millionth person. Anyhow, the next session is feedback. That's on Thursday. Feedback? Shouldn't that be the last session? That's what we thought last year, but this time we want to be able to change the second seminar session in response to the feedback session. That is the end of part four. You now have one minute to check your answers to part four. That is the end of the listening test. In the IELTS test, you would now have ten minutes to transfer your answers to the answer sheet.